This is a one chord vamp that was taken from and then looped so I could play for a longer period of time off of uh, a song called Balafon on my new record, Pure. Uh, these grooves were so, so nice. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's fun to play to them again and with the musicians that played on there. Um, there's a, a basic thing that the bass does where he just kind of plants this low thing. A mm, lot of space, boom. A lot of room to move. One chord. Let's take a listen. great feel. It's, it's very relaxed, but it has the potential to be intense as well. Um, I approached this with uh, the same kind of idea of pentatonic, scale, arpeggio, and then let fly attitude. Um, that boom, cha it's so cool to hear all that space in there, right? So um, we'll put the solo on, and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to hear the pentatonic in the beginning, and, and uh, I think probably hear it as it develops as well. The pentatonic scale in itself is very melodic, um, uh, just depending on the way that you play it, you know? And 
And um, getting down there like that to the lower register, I think some folks are kind of afraid to get down there. They want to stay right in these. Uh, I hear people refer to them as boxes. And I've never liked that phrase because if you're in a box, you're in a box. And uh, I, I see the guitar a lot more openly than that. Very funny uh, experience I personally had. Uh, went on uh, to YouTube and looked for lessons by Alan Holsworth. And he said, uh, you know, here's how I see the C major scale. And there was a, a diagram, like the neck of the guitar. And there were black dots just almost covered the entire fretboard, right? So he had basically every note of the C major scale, you know, touched, like wherever it was. So the whole fretboard was black. So he sees it like that. He saw it like that. He saw the fretboard like this wide open thing, almost like a piano. I think you could safely say that. The guitar has that potential, but um, it's just harder to see. And it's daunting for people uh, for that reason. But if you, you know, really rely on your ear, it is not that hard to find all the notes of the C major scale on, on the guitar. So um, the pentatonic scale, back to that, same thing, you know? The, uh, the pentatonic scale in D minor... the place is the D minor pentatonic scale. So, okay, we know the five notes, then let's let, you know, uh, some sense of melody take over. It's really a sense of uh, conversation almost, like a conversation <clears throat> with yourself. If you go... One down, one up, one down. Slightly different, you know. You can keep going. You're telling a story, right? And it actually is just kind of getting a little, a little deeper, you know, by just by going down. You know, this this could be an exercise. Just just go up and down, you know. On the pentaton of the pentatonic scale, but you gotta learn it all over the place. So I know I can hit that right away. I can slide down to that. a fifth root go up a fifth root that's an idea right um an idea root fifth <laughs> okay good idea root fifth up an octave root fifth up an octave and you've just covered all this ground and you've taken people up you know that's what's going on so um don't discount the pentatonic scale as an incredibly you know, powerful musical device and only meant for the blues. <laughs> you know, it's very uh, um, melodic, you know. So the scale in E minor, I'm sorry, the scale in D minor, anytime you've got a minor seventh chord, especially as like a vamp, you know, go down a whole step and play the major scale. C major, we're just starting on the second degree. It's the second mode of the C major scale, which I believe is the Dorian, but I hesitate to say because I really don't know the, the modes' names that well. But I know what they sound like, and I know how to play them. So C major scale, 
the dominant chords of the C major scale, the major triads. C, F, G, minor, minor. So C, F, and G. So, uh, let's see, C, F, and G. That is that F triad with a D in the root, D minor. So those are your arpeggios. playing the triad, G triad, and then walking down the scale, C major scale. Did it again here. Something I do a lot. Right down the scale, a little trill there. Just playing the C major scale. One, two. So those triads as your arpeggios, the major scale, which is C major, but beginning and ending on D. You hear this kind of playing in everyone, you know, just playing the scale. So don't be afraid. Run those triads. Run those scales. Play pentatonic, you know, in a very slow, melodic way, thematic way. I believe anyone can do it. <laughs> 